I am not really known for you know, Boris bashing or particularly usually kind of massively hanging the Tories out to dry or whatever, but I think the care home crisis, I was saying it from day one, was an absolute scandal. Just give me your views, please. Um, I would agree with that, and I think um, the families who have taken this action on, on behalf of so many other families, we've got to keep remembering them in our thoughts. Uh, we knew about asymptomatic transmission before um, lockdown. Um, the real problem was that the undercapacity in the care system, which was present before the pandemic and is still there now, meant this rush to uh, free up the hospitals meant that social care was an afterthought. That's been the case for some time. I think it's still, this, it's still the same case. And the real lesson needs to be learnt now by the government to make sure that the capacity yeah. is there should anything like this ever happen again to support those people because the situation was awful at the time and um, okay. this judgment has really confirmed that. Do you think that Matt Hancock made a decision that some elderly people could die? I wouldn't uh, think that uh, any minister would make that conscious decision. Um, what we need to understand is uh, what advice he was getting and how that advice was used. We, we've heard, haven't we, from Mr Cummings over the years that it was chaotic at the Department of Health. But fundamentally, uh, we went into the pandemic with massive waiting lists, under capacity in the system, a really overstretched system, running at over 90% capacity. They were warned about that. They were warned about that in reports um, called Operation Cygnus that tested the system before the pandemic, a support, a Report that was suppressed and those lessons were not learnt before the pandemic and I fear that they are still not being learnt now and that's the thing we really need to focus on so that these families um, do have better answers.